Hey, TLC. Listen, <clears throat> unbelievable things happening with um, B90X. Um, we have entered into, um, if, you're, if you're staying caught up in your reading, we're in Joshua now. But I, I just want to recap, just what we're doing is we're reading the Bible in 90 days. And, it, and it's not about getting through the Bible. It's not about hitting another notch uh, on your belt. or it, it really is about seeing this incredible story of God's love and His fidelity and His faithfulness and His deep love for us. I mean, it just... It just floors me what we've come through. Now, I mean, you might, when you're, right, when you're reading um, Exodus and Deuteronomy, you're, you're going to get into a lot of the laws. He goes into great detail about the temple because the temple is a reflection of heaven, what the curtains look like, what the size of the altar needs to be. I mean, all these really cool details that might not have a whole lot of significance now, but I, I, I submit to you that it is a great picture and there's people somewhere that can get really deep revelation. But as the story proceeds, you go into the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, these people are being emancipated from Egypt, kind of a type and shadow of us being saved out of darkness, coming into God's light. But because we've been slaves for so long and we have such a concentrated thought toward world thinking, he had to he, he had to kind of show us what holiness was all about. He had to teach us how to treat um, our spouses, our children, how to treat the land, even to the point of how to um, clean ourselves and what to do with, you know, excrement. I know that's weird, but w they were so bound and so led around that they didn't even have thoughts for themselves. So God took 40 years, and it probably could have took a lot less, but this was a, a thick-headed, stiff-necked people very much like us, who were entrenched in a culture, very much like us, and he started to show himself in the wilderness, building us, training us, leading us, protecting us, guiding us, until we come to this place of maturity where we can handle what he's about to give us. And what he's about to give us is amazing, because now you come out of the book of Deuteronomy, and you go in to um, the book of Joshua, and you you start to see that he says I'm giving you a land um, of milk and honey it's overflowing and he says when you get there you're gonna have to dispossess it in other words there's people who have inhabited it they don't have my heart they don't look like me um, they don't they don't treat each other the way that they should and it's so entrenched in them that I need you to go in and dispossess the land. I need you to take care of the asterisk poles. I don't want anything in there to live because if it does, it will pollute this work that I'm trying to do. So it seems kind of harsh, but it was very necessary. And they go in and you learn about, um, you know, Joshua taking over the land. Remember the part where Joshua comes up and he's like, um, he's like, are you for us or for our enemies? And and the angel of the army of the Lord of hosts says, he says, he says, neither. I am the angel of the army of the Lord of hosts. Take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. And what I really like about this is, is that this was a, a type and a shadow of an incarnate Jesus. Because no angel has ever said to any human being, take off your shoes because where you're standing is holy ground. In fact, every time a human comes in contact with an angel, it's uh, it's like stand up, face, don't be afraid. They they lift him up. But this was this is Jesus, and ah, it's just so cool. He's everywhere in the scripture, in the um, in the in the sacrifice when you go through numbers and and teaching the priests how to sacrifice a morning sacrifice and an evening sacrifice. You're about to find out in not too many days that Jesus was our morning and our evening sacrifice. And I want to talk about, oh, just so many things, the devoted things where where Joshua could go in and he could take care of and uh, take possession of all the land and that God was with them. But in the area of AI, a much smaller territory than lands that they had already defeated, they were taken out because of a sin of taking the devoted thing. And the devoted thing was the tithe to God. 
and so they couldn't progress because they weren't part of his system and it, it's just everywhere in the Bible I mean you can see his consistency his fidelity and and his caretaking of us I just I want to be more like Jesus every day I'm excited for what we're doing I want you to keep keep trekking we've got um, it's 73 days and uh, when we come into the New Testament and this whole thing unwinds you'll see what a treasured possession we are and how much and how deeply we're loved by God. I got to go. I'm running and rambling, but the word of God is life to those who find it and it's health and healing to all their flesh. I hope you join us. If you're behind, don't worry about it. Get in the game. You can start with Joshua and catch up real quick. We love you. Be blessed. Peace.